The diploma is to do with how we work on clinics, taking the postgraduates skill level up a notch from what they've been used to in practice from their first qualification, undergraduate qualification. In general practice you'd come across certain cases and you'd want to be able to treat them but sometimes I'd have to refer them because I didn't know how to approach it. Perhaps don't have the right tools to be able to treat those patients so I wanted to find a course that would fit me. I looked at various things like cost, also whether you're treating patients and that's something very unique to this course because I didn't see it on any other course where you get to actually be with patients in clinic so getting that hands-on experience. This diploma is relatively new, it's fresh, it's modern, it's current, designed for general dental practitioner, primarily based in general dental practice. The students are based at King's College Dental Hospital. Instead of having an intensive one or two week period of contact, they're seen over a two year period. By and large, the first year is composed of technical exercises within the Phantom Head Lab and seminars. The programme covers a full range of operative dentistry which will include uh, both conventional adhesive and endodontics. We touch upon various different aspects of dentistry from class 4 restorations right up to treatment planning and um, uh, managing occlusal problems. For the second year, students migrate away from the technical lab to come into the clinic, clinical environment where patients are treated under supervision by people like myself and some of the other lecturers on the course. Uh, so I think that's quite um, a unique aspect of the course. Being at King's, you're really in a hospital and an institution that has a great reputation, great clinicians, great consultants, and we're really lucky that we are taught by um, people who are leading in their field. So it's been, um, it's been a privilege for me. It's our hope that operative procedures will be refined, able to be delivered in a clean and predictable way, not just for the benefit of the students, but of course for the benefit of the patient. One thing that we're very keen on is to have individuals that leave the course that are very reflective. Their learning doesn't stop by the end of the two years. They need to constantly update their own knowledge and their own skills through the culture of the course, which allows people to question what they read and question the techniques that they are providing so that at least they can continue to improve throughout their careers. It's really, really encouraging and reassuring to see people progressing in the career and that's, that's really what we're here for. All I want to do is to be a safe dentist and treat my patients the best I can. And with this course, it's shown me the importance of evidence-based dentistry and how to use that to treatment plan. You can read about a technique, practice the technique under supervision in the technical skills lab, and then there's a migration or a translation of that technique from the skills lab up into either the clinic here or indeed through their own clinical practices. So the circle completes. I can actually see it already from now that my practice has completely changed. I think that was apparent from the first month within the course. It kind of gives you more motivation, it gives you more enthusiasm. I don't get daunted by certain complex treatments. It's actually something I approach much more confidently and I feel that I can really, really give quality dentistry to patients.